So Ellie, Aston Villa ladies away this weekend. How are you feeling going into this one? Feeling, feeling confident. I think, um, obviously, it wasn't our best performance last weekend, but I think we've had that knock back and that's only helped us improve and see where we've gone wrong and try and improve that in training this week. You mentioned that knock back. Are there any areas that you want to try and improve going into the match? Yeah, I think it's kind of a tactical tactical things. Um, there were some errors we made the weekend and we kept making the same errors which led to their goals. Um, so yeah, we've just got to work on keeping the possession of the ball and obviously if we can't do that, can we hit them in behind, turn them around and get ourselves on the front foot? It's a 3G pitch. Does this change your game at all as a defender? Um, not too much. Obviously it's quite hard if you slide on it but um, we, I mean, we train on 3G, so it's not going to be any different from training in the week. And we're well over halfway now in the spring series. What are your overall thoughts in your first season in the senior game? It's been quite tough. It's been a, definitely a big change for me. Um, but I've got used to it, and now I know the level. The spring series is a good chance to see the kind of level going into the next season. Um, so, yeah, found out how it's like. And yeah, just got to improve from there. So Villa away up this Saturday. How are you feeling going into this one? Uh, yeah, I think we're confident this week. Um, obviously it was a bit of a tough loss to take on Saturday, um, but I think we've taken a positive spin on it, and we're going to definitely look to improve this week. How determined are you and the uh, team to try and get back to winning ways? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't play anywhere near the standard that we want to, and as I say, we're taking it as a positive, and you know, we just want to go out and show people what we can do. And I think by having another game so close and so soon, like the week after, it it really it's a good thing for us, you know, take it in our stride and just go out and perform like we know we can. So you've been at London Bees now for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. How has the whole club progressed as a whole? Yeah, massively. Um, when I first came, it was I actually hadn't heard of the team. Um, I moved up from Brighton, and it was a small club. There wasn't many people involved. There was a squad of like twenty for both teams, and you know now it's it's a really big and good sort of club to to be involved in, and you know in every aspect from the media side, like yourselves and the strength and conditioning, and like Dave that's come in, and you know progressed it massively and the players that we've got in as well you know we've got some real talented players and every week we're progressing I mean despite last week but um, yeah it's it's progressed massively from when I first joined. So as we get now to the, towards the end of the spring series um, where, when do attention start to turn to next season and what are the aims for that? Um, you know I think they've turned already uh, this season is just a stepping stone for us and you know it's not competitive but we do want to do the best we can and but our main priority is the main season. Uh, we are looking to win that, and although some of our performances haven't really warranted that we could say that, um, I think that is definitely our main focus, and that's what the girls are looking most forward to is just trying to keep their place in the team from this, you know, putting some good performances, and then hopefully keep their shirts ready for the main season to kick off.